All right. So now we're back at the free code camp JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta main page. We just finished the learn the date object by building a date formatter course. And now we're on to our first certification project for the uh, beta for the JavaScript beta course, build a palindrome checker project. All right. So this is one of the required projects to earn our certification. For this project, we're going to build an application that checks whether a given word is a palindrome. All right. So let's get into it. Uh, so a palindrome is a word or phrase that can be read the same way forwards and backwards, ignoring punctuation, case and spacing. So something like this race car. All right. So it's R-A-C-E-C-A-R forwards, and it's also R-A-C-E-C-A-R backwards, all right? So that's basically how that works. A uh, note, we're going to need to remove all non-alphanumeric characters, so punctuation, spaces, and symbols, and we're going to turn everything into the same case. So, or, uh, pardon me, lower or upper case in order to check for palindromes, right? So basically, let's look down here. Uh, we've got something like, uh, this is not a palindrome. This is a palindrome. Okay, so we've got my age is zero comma space zero C ega yum. And that is a palindrome because it says my age is zero backwards, even though there's a uh, comma here and a period here. And this is capital, right? So let's uh, look at the thing that we're going to look at the app that's functionally similar to this. All right. So it's going to look like this. Let's put a non palindrome in there first. Check it. No. How about a, 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 semicolon, a, 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 check. Yes. Okay. So yes. Uh, and if you've been following the, the channel, uh, for a while now and you've seen my other, uh, what are these called? Certification projects. You know, I'm going to be skipping the CSS part because uh, we can get through this without doing that. All right. So just letting you know, if you want to uh, CSS it up by all means, but we can definitely get through this without the CSS. That being said, so now we're on to user stories one and we'll see you next time.